he was trying to get stuff straight and things so that his family could have a better life. Now, oh, you know, that was cut short. 41-year-old John Ruffin Jr. was killed in a shooting in downtown Shreveport last month. My son is, he was just minding his business. His mother, Loretta, describes the shooting as a random act of violence. She says Ruffin and his oldest son were walking to a food truck near the Phoenix nightclub when gunfire erupted. I don't think he was shooting really at my son. He was just randomly shooting. My son was not a gangbanger. My grandson is not a gangbanger. The mother tells us her son was killed in front of his own son. My grandson and his friend had on a hoodie that said Cooper Road. And they said the guy came up and just started ranting about Queensboro is this and Queensboro is that. Following the shooting, Shreveport Police Department increased its police presence downtown. They stationed a mobile command center near where the shooting happened. However, the grieving mother says she wishes the larger police presence came sooner. They took an opportunity, uh, the death of my son, to have a police presence. Then the next week, you got where they had 26 arrests, and they're like patting themselves on the back. I don't pat them on the back, because if you had have done that prior to it, I still feel that my son would have been alive. Shreveport police say they plan to have a continued increased police presence downtown and in high crime neighborhoods. Now, there have been 53 homicides in Shreveport this year. Now, the grieving mother says she hopes the senseless gun violence will come to an end soon. The suspect, Brandon B Beatty, is currently in jail on $2 million bond. Reporting in the First Alert Center, I'm Jasmine Franklin.